Hello, my name's Donna. I want to welcome you to my craft room. Today's video, um, I've actually got some whip, uh, not whips, some finished objects to show you. Uh, before I get into all that, I want to uh, take care of a little bit of, not so much announcements, but stuff I want to I want to uh, talk about, first of all, um, along with my crafty goals, I wanted to uh, finish my 2001 fin uh, whips. Lottie over at Enjoying Cancer as a Lifestyle has a, a January finish your whip challenge going on. I'll link the video below, so if you want to join in on uh, finishing your whips, uh, you can go check her out. might be a little prize in it. Uh, Jane from Scraptastic Yarn, she's doing a good old uh, finish it or frog it. And I did that a few years ago, so I don't have as many whips as I once did. Um... Another one of my crafty goals was the, the hat and scarf uh, challenge where you make at least one hat and scarf set each month for the whole year and then donate them to charity at the end of that year. Well, uh, Crochet Every Day with Judy is doing a January challenge for making hats and scarves for charity she's supporting. I'll link her down below as well. Speaking of hats and scarf sets, this is a color uh, and yarn I've chosen to make this month's hat and scarf set. Um, I may decide to uh, put this off until next month because I want to get in on Lottie's uh, finish it January finish your whips challenge and I have this scarf well you can't that's about wrong side this scarf I'd love to finish it and then make a hat to match it that way I can get credit for uh, two different, actually it'd be three different, no, because I'm not sending it to her, it'd be two challenges. That would be cool. Uh, that, that's one of my FOs, one of my goals, as well as the, the finish was I wanted to finish uh, Terry's uh, vlogist backpack buddies. And I had a couple laying in here on my desk that I did finish one. It's the butterfly. Not butterfly. Was it a firefly? Dragonfly. It was some sort of fly. The picture of it in... in uh, the pattern didn't have eyes, so I didn't put eyes on it. So that goes over there with Terry's. <coughs> oh, oh, excuse me, bless me. I, uh, I haven't finished the minion because I've been working on other things. That's the good stuff. My last finish for the month of De for the month of December which is 2021, was my nod uh, at the Vlogmas, not Vlogmas, Friendmas, was my 12 days of Christmas blanket. There are 12 squares. I believe you saw these, these six. And then I did these six. So that... It doesn't count toward my charity along 
which I basically work do charity stuff all year long, but I didn't want to make a year long challenge. Well, yes, I did. I did the hats and scarves. I, I haven't been up long, so I still got a bit of a sleepy brain. My first finish for 2022, if you remember for bingo, I was trying to do the Jada and Stitches uh, Afghan. And there was this one section I couldn't get for the life of me. I watched that video at least 10 or 20 times. I even tried writing it down and I still couldn't get it. And then with the great uh, Loss of Crow Joe 2021, I never did finish it. So uh, my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter saw it. She, she says, I like that, that's really pretty. So I decided, well, heck, I'm not gonna let it sit there half finished. I'm gonna go ahead and go with it and make a shawl out of it. So here's my attempt at the Jaden Stitches blanket. But now it's a FO and it's gonna go to my granddaughter as a shawl. So that she could just wrap around her shoulders. Oh. Yeah, that isn't the best folding job. I'll take care of it later. And then I had a finished object last night, which is a project I'd started in 2002, and now my little thingy here is going to want to catch a hold of it. It was supposed to be a baby blanket. It's still caught. There we go. It's supposed to be a baby blanket, but it, it turned out awful big to be a baby blanket. There's that, and then that. So I don't know exactly if I'll keep it as a baby blanket or I'll send it as some sort of throw. Ooh, I need to get that out of there. That was my marker of where I was at. Seems like there might be another one in there I'll find later on. I might have took it out. Now, <clears throat> I went into, I've got a, a a tote back there that I've got some um, old stuff that I was working on and I pulled out a whip that I started working on. It was a basket. This basket is huge. I started working on it again. I don't know if I'll have, if I've got enough purple because it takes a light purple and dark purple. You can see right here where I've already changed both purples. I may have to buy a skein of white to go with it because I don't have a whole lot of white in stash. Uh, there might be some in a tote. No, I never point to the right place because it's, yeah, back there that has some white in it. Now, I had some fun. I mentioned that um, I found a, a, a tutorial for um, a, um, what's it? It's a scrap version of the log cabin blanket for crochet. I just really fell in love with it. So I did. Uh, I pulled out, I had this thing full, full, full of scraps, and this is all, no, there's a little bit more back there, but not much, 
I made I've made two different squares. Now it's really hard to see the log cabin uh, pattern in these two squares, but I assure you it is there. These squares are 30 inches wide. Let me show you the first square I made first. I haven't tied in the ends. I got to tie them in. That's the first square. I know it looks a little wonky, but some of that has to do with the color placement. This is a total Franken square, like Frankenstein square. I just cobbled it together. There were pieces no bigger than that. There were pieces that weren't even big enough to make a ball. I got maybe 12 stitches out of out of some of it and this is double crochet and then this one was a little bit bigger pieces that's right that's that's the way it does up here and it still looks wonky because of the color changes now this right here isn't a lot of log cabin blankets have this l shape and then it'll be an l shape that's not how i did it this goes across like this and this goes across like that it's two different in fact i think it's two different grays i'm really enjoying this um, I don't know that it's something I will get done this year um, because I want it to be eventually be a blanket and it'll be dependent on how many scraps I have. I have a lot of bigger scraps but I'd have to work them down into a smaller size to uh, to make a Frank a Frankenstein square out of it. Got something caught in my mouth. Now it seems like there's something. I know I need to write this stuff down because I was full of different things I wanted to say and now I can't really think of them. Unsweetened tea. Decaffeinated unsweetened tea. Yeah, I do have. Oh yeah, that's one more thing. When I was thinking about uh, Jane doing the the um, finish at her frog, it, both she and Lottie had a project where they wanted opinions whether they should uh, finish it or frog it. And both of them, I said frog it. Because if you're not in love with it, why waste your time with it? And I've got two different knit shawls. That was what I was worried about, finishing my knitting, because I don't spend a whole lot of time knitting, and it takes so long. I might be able to finish this hat without wasting too much of my work time. And I thought that I would do something... It's Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast had a, a Whip Ball Wednesday. And I believe Ella from No Catch Your Name seems like she had a Work It Wednesday. Or maybe that, that was Distinctive Crochet. Well, anyway, there's been several different versions. So I figured I'd have a Work On Your Whips Wednesday where I dedicate Wednesday to just working on my older whips like knitting and I have decided to frog one of them because I really want to finish one of the shawls because I was really enjoying it it's just that that's all I was working on and I wasn't getting anything done for bingo so that probably will be, after I finish the hat, that will be my Wednesday project. That way, everything gets a little bit of love. I've got a couple more projects in my tote. 
when it's time to work on them I'll dig them out and show you I may only have one back there I know I've got some granny squares cause I was making uh, granny square blankets for the wolf pack that's five of the kids and uh, I'd made a bunch for one of the girls and then they ended up getting lost in my mess as before I rearranged my craft room so I had to start all over well I finally found those squares when I was doing this iteration of rearranging my craft room which is still not done I gotta finish that and uh, so I gotta figure out what to do with those squares I'll show them to you get your ideas I've, I've got an idea or two of my own which may require purchasing more yarn and I'm not purchasing any yarn except for when I have to have it to like like if a, I get a request for something and I have to have a, a certain color for it then I'll I'll purchase yarn then other than that I'm uh, working on my stash Thanks to Mrs. Hootie Hootington, I have a little bit of extra that I need to work on. And I also need to finish the the mosaic Montana uh, wrap that we started together. She, she's like me. She just got frustrated with it, set it aside, and let the brain rest. Well, I need to pull that out and work on that. That'll probably be later this year sometime. I just want to work on what I think I might can get done to qualify for the January Finisher Whip Challenge with Miss Lottie. Uh, I hope I don't forget to... Uh, oh, that, that's the other video that I wanted to, uh, to share with you about. Pamela's Adoring Crochet did uh, a review on uh, tulip hooks. And I really enjoyed the review because it said a lot of things that I that I noticed because I bought two tulips I'm in two different sizes. I wanted to try them out, and in my opinion, yes, they are worth the money. I hold with a pencil grip, and there aren't too many ergonomic crochet hooks that are comfortable. In my hand they're just so big it, it hurts my hand but the tulips they work good for uh, pencil, pencil grippers and Miss uh, Pamela is a knife gripper and she liked them. so well, I'll try to remember to, to link her video below I will probably be releasing a second video because later on this week because I am expecting a crochet hook set and I'll do a, a review on those after I get them I'm not you know, toward the end of the week I'm expecting them Wednesday but sometimes in my area it'll be after dark before Amazon shows up so and then again it could be in the morning you never know but after I get those, I'll I'll do a review. So I'll probably record it late Wednesday or Thursday, and upload load it late Thursday, Friday, somewhere. No promises, cause you never know what could happen to keep me from my appointed rounds. Cause <laughs> I don't work for the U.S. mail. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I hope you guys have a a wonderful rest of your day. And I wish you a whole lot of love in your life. Uh, be kind to each other. And uh, love one another. And uh, there was somebody, I can't remember who now, told me, smile at people. Make them wonder what you're up to. <laughs> and I've never had anybody give me a dirty look. Now when you catch a stranger's eye and you smile, and usually they'll smile back. So, share a little bit of love with the world. Until next time, 
Take care of yourself. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.